Hello YouTube. Welcome to a makeshift canteen cup Tuesday. I got out here camp and did a little work around the place which I'll maybe put at the put at the end of here, but uh got a little hungry and I thought well I'll just make myself a little lunch. I always keep a bunch of these sides, these nor fat uh, pasta sides. So we're going to try the uh, butter and herb one today. Uh, you'll notice it was pouring down rain all afternoon. Of course, it quit now, but I decided rather than just give up. I came out and uh, I set up my little my little lean-to that hooks to the back of my four-wheeler for foul weather fishing. I just kind of strap the tarp in the back and I always carry these two poles break down and put them in this box back here in a little tarp so if it does start to rain I have an escape from a little bit of the rain anyway so uh, just in case it starts again I figured I'd do it up here. Uh, I've been watching uh, Mark over at uh, Eat Carbs, and uh, he's been using his little sterno stove a lot. And uh, I thought I'd give mine a try. I, I dig it back out. I haven't had it out for a while. Uh, problem is, I only have the little wee little cans of sterno, and I'm not sure if they're if it's going to get it hot enough to boil this water or not. It may. If not, I have a, another gas stove over in the truck that I can switch to if I need to. But we're going to give it a shot. Seems to be pretty warm already. I just, I just started it up. Now the one, one thing I did do with this stove, and I'll show you Maybe I'll show you later after it cools down. But I made a little piece of stainless steel mesh that fits over the barbs in the bottom that holds the can of sterno. And by doing that, I can use the small cans. Uh, if I had my uh, my other truck that I carried everything in the world, all my worldly possessions in, I would also have a couple, I have a, like a tuna can that I could put under it as a spacer and move it up, but I don't have it, so we're going to bring this to a boil and throw this in there and let it simmer for a while and uh, see if we can't get lunch. So I'll get back to you when the water boils. She's a steaming. While we're waiting on this, uh, I do have a few things I'd like to mention. Um, I don't know if uh, if everybody's feeling it this fall, but uh, I noticed uh, a few people were kind of uh, not posting as much as they usually do and stuff, and uh, that's understandable. Everybody gets a little burnout. I know I certainly have. I I have all the time in the world and, and all the facilities to do it, but I just can't motivate myself to get out here and do it sometimes. So uh, I just wanted to say, you know, I may not be posting as much, but I am watching all, all the videos I can and stuff and try to comment whenever I can. And uh, But I'm getting a little behind. I have some... Uh, some uh, videos that I want to do. I want to. I want to try that MRE that uh, Miss Sherry sent me. I want to make a video on that, and I want to make a video on some. Uh, oh, by the way, where are you at, Miss Sherry? Come back out into the open. We need your smile. Um, another video I want to make is I'm 
thinking about a uh, not a new fire starter by any any means but uh, I have a uh, everybody always does the uh, little pads with the Vaseline and stuff in them or wax in them and stuff and I uh, I just really dislike they they work perfect they really do but I really dislike the uh, Vaseline I don't like that it seeps out and you keep them in a container and they're all together and and I like to, I usually like to start my fires with a ferro rod and stuff and once that Vaseline soaks all through there it's just just not possible so I got this brainstorming idea of something I'm going to try so uh, hopefully this week I'll get that put together and try it and see if it works maybe it will maybe it won't but we're going to give it a shot anyway oh we're just about we're real close to being ready so uh, we got that and there, there's a couple other ones that uh, ideas that I got if I could just get myself motivated to do them so uh, that's about it I'll just uh, like I said I'm going to uh, I just just lack motivation right now uh, been a tough year it's been a tough year for everybody, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what it brings. Maybe this change in the weather and this will it'll do me some good. So, just want everybody to know it's not uh, nothing wrong. Just lazy. That's the whole secret. So uh, I'm gonna get my noodles in here, and it's just a a real little simmer. So. I'm going to put these in there and let them cook for, I think it says seven minutes, and uh, put a little butter in there and get her going. We'll bring you back. Back in a bit. Okay, it says it's time. Yeah, we'll let her, looks pretty good. We'll leave her set for a couple minutes here and have some lunch. That's going to be our Canteen Cup Tuesday for this week. I haven't done one for a while. Uh, maybe I'll try to get a, a cast iron Wednesday in for tomorrow. It'll be something simple too. So. I'm pretty much dwelling on the simple things in life right now, <laughs> like myself. Yeah.
can't find the camera again. Looks pretty good. I'm going to let her cool down for a couple seconds. So I don't uh, burn myself again. Yep, pretty good. That's all. Talk to you all later. Be kind to one another, please. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.